Preschool story time. We're not at the library, but I hope you join us at home. Today, we're gonna start off with my favorite song. Hold on, let me get my backup singers, hold on. Everybody sit down, now stand up again. Make sure we can hear it. Here we go. You can keep standing up. Here we go. Let's go. But not for long. Because this is the sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down song. Good. Here we go. Now stand up if you're five years old. And sit back down again. Stand up if you're six or seven. Six or seven. Then sit back down with your friends. Stand up if you're four or three. Oh, stand up. <laughs> stand right. up. Stand up if you're eight, nine, or ten. Woohoo! Now everybody sit back down. We'll do it once again. Everybody stand up. Everybody sit down. Now stand up again. Turn around, you can keep standing up, but not for long. Here we go, are you ready? Because this is the sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down song. Woo! Stand up if you have a sister. Sister, who has a sister? Now sit back down again. Okay, sit down. Stand up if you have a brother. I have a brother, I'm standing up. Now sit back down with your friends. Sit down. Stand up if you have a dog at home. I have a dog at home. Stand up if you have a cat. Cat? Meow. Now everybody sit back down. This time we'll do it fast. Everybody stand up. Everybody sit down. Now stand up again. And turn around. Woo. You can keep standing up. But not for long. Stand up, sit down, song. Now stand up if you like music. Music, stand up. And sit back down with your friends. Stand up if you like sports. I like sports. Then sit back down sit again. Down friends. Stand up just if you feel like it. You don't even have to ask. Now everybody sit back down this time. We're gonna do fast, it very go. fast. Right. Everybody stand up. Everybody sit down. Now stand up again. And turn around. You can keep standing up. But not for long. Cause this is the sit down. Stand up, sit down, 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 Time we're going to talk about under the sea. We're going to start with fabulous fishes. Round fish, clown fish, fish that like to hide, striped fish, spiked fish, fish that leap and glide, sand fish. Landfish, fish that flash their lights, speckled fish, spotted fish, fish that tails curled tight, shiny fish, spiny fish, fish that hitch a ride. Flatfish, catfish, fish that ride the tide, fish that swim in numbers, fish that swim alone. No matter what they look like, they call the water home. Then we'll talk about octopus under the sea.
Who lives under the deep blue sea? Who has more arms than you or me? An octopus. Long, long arms, eight in all, help an octopus creep and crawl. An octopus grabs its meal, a crab, a shrimp, a tiny eel. An octopus jets under the sea by squirting out water so it can flee. Hungry sharks and other fish want a tasty octopus dish. Look, as, a, as quick as you can blink, an octopus shoots out dark black ink. This thick cloud is just a trick so the octopus can escape quick. An octopus seems to disappear when it knows danger is near. An octopus has no bones, so it can squeeze into tiny homes. These homes are holes, cracks, and caves far below the ocean waves. A mother octopus with her arms protects her eggs from any harm. An octopus can be as long as a whale. An octopus can be as small as a snail. An octopus eats, hides, and flees in every one of Earth's blue seas. And then the pout pout fish. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along came a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown cr frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend, nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blah, blah, blah. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with a daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quiet and slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy and she is squelky. She is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a smile, a little joke, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look, you'll see why. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blah, blah, blah. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell you it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulky is unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. 
I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread dreary wearies all over the place. Blah, blah, blah. Now along comes a fish with a silent silver shimmer the gang has never seen before, this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and he speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. And finally, the rainbow fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were very shade, were every shade of blue, green, and purple, with sparkly silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called Mr. Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was upset and he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to a starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anyone like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to the deep cave, you will find a wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him, him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittery scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how happy, discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shiny scales, never. Like, how could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was, was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small sh shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one.
Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other, by other fish. Everyone wanted a glittery scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glittery scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shiny scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they, all, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Today for story time, we talked about undersea creatures, and we the last book we read was Rainbow Fish. So today we're going to make a rainbow fish similar to this. So all you need from home is a we, the fish is made out of a paper plate and some construction paper, a googly eye, and some construction paper circles, and we use a little glitter. That's the fun part. So to make your fish, I marked the paper plate. And so you have the mouth, and we're actually gonna use that piece for the tail. So we'll just cut that. And we're gonna use blue paint. You can always use a blue marker if you want, or some crayons from home, if you'd rather not get the paint out. If you do use blue paint, you could use um, a paintbrush. We're gonna use a cotton ball on a, with a clothespin. and just dab it in the blue paint and then you will dab it on your fish. And if you get an excess of paint on your plate, you may want to spread it out. So that way we can glue the scales of the fish to our other construction paper. And don't forget the tail. Okay, so we're done with painting. Now we're gonna glue our tail to the fish. and then glue the scales. And I just traced a top of a bottle and cut circles out of different colors and then folded them in half.
and you can continue with your scales. You also want to put your eye on and the top fin. and add a little glitter. I would suggest adding the glitter to after you glued your colorful scales on. And then when you're finished, you will have a rainbow fish. Have fun.